Washingtonville sits in two counties, which is causing some problems with getting EMS in a timely manner. Agencies are servicing calls outside their jurisdictions or not even receiving calls for help. First News reporter Jason Serjak was in Washingtonville tonight with a City Council meeting. He has that story. She called back 20 minutes later and they said, oh, we can't get anybody. There's nobody on duty. That is what a 911 dispatcher told the wife of Washingtonville's mayor back in November when he suffered a medical emergency. Eventually, a private ambulance needed to be called to take the mayor to a hospital. This is a problem Washingtonville has been dealing with because it straddles two counties. We're split by Route 14, so one side of the road is uh, Columbiana County and the other side is Mahoning County. So it causes problems on uh, dispatching, uh, telephone calls, 911 calls. A cell phone could register on a tower and send a 911 call to a different county and delay the arrival of medical help. According to Mayor Frank, the dispatchers of Mahoning and Columbiana counties don't coordinate well. A lack of communication. You can't communicate with them because 911 apparently is not that great. Even though Green Township trustees have said they are servicing too many calls south of the county line, both agencies are willing to sit down and come to a new shared services agreement. Two fire departments are responding to the village of Washingtonville. They're going to be covered much better, protected much better, and it just works out for everybody. The final solution may not be in the hands of Latonia or Green Township. Both chiefs are willing to serve Washingtonville and for now suggest residents call each respective dispatchers for faster response times. Mayor Frank says his village should get help more easily. The right thing would be a one number call. Call a number and get an ambulance. I don't care whether it's Latonia or whether it's Green. Get an ambulance. In Washingtonville, Jason Serjak, WKBN 27 First News.